three. Oh, oh my face. Rewind that zillion. I want to see it again. Yeah. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So the main man, and I'm not talking about set, the main man is in the building, Darius. So this is, I'm gonna call him the main guy for Noxus. He is the Yang to Garen's Ying. Anyways, so what am I gonna do today? As you can clearly see here, I'm gonna go through his bio. Then I'm going to go through his story. I've also got his stick skins to go through. I've had a little cheeky look. He has three. Yes, three login themes. Obviously, I'm going to go through each one of them as well. I'm going to go through his spotlight if it's not too old and also his special interactions. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go. So, Darius, the Hand of Noxus. History only remembers the victors. Stand with Noxus and be remembered forever. Okay, sold. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to read the bio. Let's have a quick look here. So, yeah, Tales of Noxus with um, After Victory, I think that's called, isn't it? That we've, we've watched that already. Fear, yep, yeah, that's really good as well. We've watched that one as well. Out of that little mini series, probably the one on Misfortune was my favourite. Or maybe the one on the Z. It's close. But that was pretty good as well. This is the story I'm going to read. He's got a couple more by the looks of it there. Ah, he's also got, that reminds me, he's also got a comic. So maybe, what, three, four months back now, I went through the Z comics and also the Lux comics. And I said I will go through any others as well. So at some point, maybe at the back end of the review of the champions for Noxus, I will go through the, uh, the comic for Darius as well. <laughs> We've got some art that I'll go through later on. And obviously his login theme. Whoa, we've got even more. Oh, behind the scenes as well for New Dawn. Right, so before I get into the bio, let me say one quick thing as well. New Dawn's probably one of my favourite videos from League of Legends. Simply because it keeps it so simple. It doesn't overcomplicate it. There's no, there's no kind of like, uh, you know, quirky story or theme to it. There's minimal narration. It's just a good old fashioned five versus five. Um, yeah. And for that reason, it's one of my favourites. Hopefully, Lee can take some notes from that and next time they do a, um, a cinematic, just go back to the basics. That's all people really want. At least that's all I want anyway. Anyways, let's move up to the bio. Let's go. Bio. So, is that zoomed enough? I think that's probably good enough. Okay. Darius and his brother, Draven, grew up as orphans in the port city of Bashlishk. Darius struggled to provide for them both, constantly fighting with gangs of older urchins and anyone else who threatened his little brother, even the city guard. Every day on the streets was a battle for survival, and Darius earned more scars by his 12th summer than, than some soldiers do in a lifetime. So you can see it in his first paragraph, um, kind of like how, how he, where he gets his philosophy from. Because clearly he, he's an orphan, he doesn't have any parents, and he fights his way to the top. So if you do that, then you're going to view that as the right way to um, succeed in life, in essence. The complete opposite of uh, Demacia. After Bal Baslich, I'm merging that, but you know what I mean. After that, was seized by the expanding Noxian Empire. Ah, right, so this is pre-Noxus. Interesting, kind of a little, a little bit like Xinxiao and also Sona, in a way, as well. Hmm. The victorious commander, no, she was, no, no, not Sona. There was someone else. Anyways, the victorious commander Cyrus saw the strength in these defiant brothers and they found a home with the ranks of his war host. Over the years, they fought in many grueling campaigns of conquest from the one end of the known world to the other, as well as crushing a, no crushing a number of, rebellious, of rebellions against the throne. Okay. Within the empire, anyone could rise to power. This is what I was saying before. No matter their birth, culture, or background, and none embraced his ideal clearly more fervently than Darius. From humble beginnings, he rose steadily through the ranks, always putting duty before all else, and garnering great respect for his aggression, discipline, and refusal to ever take a backward step. On the blood-soaked fields of Dalmore Plain, he even beheaded an oxen general after the crowd coward ordered a retreat. Right. Roaring in defiance and hefting his blooded axe overhead, Darius rallied the scattered warbands and won a great and unexpected victory against a far more numerous foe. He was rewarded with a senior command of his own, attracting many thousands of eager recruits from across the empire. Darius turned the majority away, excepting all of the strongest, which was saw in after victory that giant, the giant that booted down that door, the most disciplined and ironed willed. 
Such was his face of notor notoriety. Uh, notoriety. Hold on. Notoriety. Notoriety. Right, okay. There we go. So, uh, such was his face of notoriety. We'll get there. Even in the lands beyond Noxus, that was not uncommon for entire cities to surrender at the first sight of his banners. After a grinding victory against the cloud fortress of the Vaju, uh, maybe somewhere in Ionia, a proud warrior people who had resisted decades of, of Noxus, Noxus and aggression, Darius was named the Hand of Noxus, kind of like in Game of Thrones, by Emperor Borum Darkwell himself. Those who knew Darius best knew he carved neither power, ca carved or craved, so to say, neither power nor adulation, ad adulation. He wished merely to see Noxus triumph over all, so Darkwell ordered him and his warhorse far north into the Freyjord to finally bring the barbarian tribes to heel. The campaign dragged on for years, ended in a bitter icy stalemate. <laughs> Darius narrowly survived assassination attempts, ambushes and even captured by the vicious Winter's Claw. He was growing weary of endless wars of attrition and returned to Noxus to demand a reconciliation of the military. Okay. He marched his veterans into the capital only to find that the Emperor was dead, killed by a coup but led by Jericho Swain. The act had been supposed, supported by many allies including Darius' own brother Draven. Okay. This was a difficult position as hand many of the noble houses would expect Darius to avenge Darkwell but he had known and greatly respected and dis the disgraced General Swain, and had spoken against his discharge after the botched offense, offensive in Ionia some years before, or some years earlier. Right, okay. <clears throat> the oaths of the hand were to Noxus, not any particular ruler, and Swain was a man who spoke honestly of his new vision to the Empire. That's the best way of looking at it. Darius um, realised this was a leader who was prepared to he was prepared to follow, but Swain had other ideas. With the establishment of the Triafax, is it Trifarix? Three individuals would rule Noxus together. Interesting. Each embodying one principle of strength, vision, might, and guile. So, of strength, which is vision, might, and guile. Darius gladly accepted his place on the council and pledged to raise a new elite force, the Trifarian Legion, the most loyal and prestigious warriors the Empire could produce, and lead the armies of Noxus into a glorious new age of conquest. Interesting. Okay, good to see a little bit of you. Obviously, his backstory and his origins ties in with his brother Draven as well. And also in with Swain. You can see what happened with Swain there as well. And also interesting that there's three of them that rule, like at the, uh, the Trinity, which you would never, and I mean never get in... Uh, in Damasia. So once again, completely opposite to um, Damasian principles, ideologies, and all the rest of that stuff as well. Interesting. Okay, so what I am going to do now is I'm going to go through his skins, and then I'm going to move on to one of his login themes. Let's go. Okay, so this is Darius' skins. This is the obviously the original one, which is Tyre. There is no greater symbol of Noxian might than Darius, which is, what did it say? Hold on, let me go back to it. It said... There we go. So the three um, principles are vision, might, and guile. So clearly Darius is might. Vision is Swain. And guile is maybe um, Draven. Maybe. Hmm. Anyways, let's go. Let's continue. The nation's most feared and battle-hardened leader, rising from humble origins to become the Hand of Noxus, he cleaves through the Empire's enemies, many of them Noxums themselves. <laughs> Don't play no games. Knowing that he never doubts his cause is just and never hesitates once his axe is raised, those who stand against the commander of the Trifarian Legion can expect no mercy. Okay, so that is his base skin. <clears throat> I like it. I like that one a lot. What is the next one? Lord... <laughs> Darius. So this is if he was the supreme leader. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, once again resembles a little bit of um, Garen there as well in his look. But okay, I like that one. The next one is Bioforge Darius. In fact, was there something there on that? No, there wasn't. Okay. To save his... Let's just get rid of this advertisement. I don't know what that was. To save his own life after being exposed to a cloud of radioactive space gas. Interesting. All the makers of a superhero, you know, <laughs> DC or Marvel. Investment bank, there we go. What did I never say? It's that, that is, it's like a superhero, isn't it? Investment banker Donald D. Darius was forced to build a suit containing the straight, the strange mixture. <laughs> 
maybe a little bit like Bane as well. But the chemicals from beyond the stars war wrapped his weakened, warped his weakened mind, twisting him into a brutal villain known as the <coughs> known as Bioforge. Okay, interesting. I like the creativity that's gone into that one. Not just the the actual skin, but the law behind that as well. This one, uh, Wand Ward Ward King Darius. So this ties in nicely with what it mentioned. <coughs> excuse me, in his bio, where he was sent off to the Freyord to make them heal. For a ward trib, I'm get, I think it's ward, ward or ward, tribesman to be named king, they must venture alone into the den of the gl uh, glacial hydra and return with one of its heads. Darius, it is said, came back with all, <laughs> came back with all nine. Reminds me a little bit of Spartans as well, you know, when they're younger, they have to go out uh, hunt or survive for a certain period of time and then when they come back they're a man similar thing okay I like that one <laughs> now I saw a little bit about I saw a bit of this one before because there's also Dunkmaster Draven as well but this is excellent this is so good I don't know about the creativity of this one here the Bioforge but this is taking it to another level you've made a skin based on him being a, a basketball player Dunk Master Darius, sporting over a hundred different endorsement deals and tens of millions of fans of um, the world over, Darius has transformed himself from a shud showy basketball prodigy to the world's leading authority on dunking. Okay, fair enough. Be like Vince Carter. He was recently perfect. He has he has recently perfected the, the Dunk Town Express. <coughs> Sorry, Dunk Town Express, where he dunked so hard that all public transit on the let me read that last sentence again. He has recently perfected the Dunk Town Express, where he dunked so hard that all public transit on the planet simultaneously explodes. Isn't that murder? So because he's called the Dunk Town Express, which is kind of like you could say it's a form of, tr of transportation, anything else is kind of destroyed. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, I love it, I love it. So let's move on to the next one, Academy Darius. Notice from the Dean, Darius is henceforth suspended from the Academy grounds for behavior including, but not limited to, stuffing students into lockers, possession of dangerous weapons on school property, brawling, fighting, scuffling, fisticuffing, and obviously dunking on fellow classmates during gym class, which we saw in the previous skin. Yeah, yeah, so we have Echo, Aure, Darius, and I don't know who that is. Hmm. Anyways, um, cool. I like that. So the next one is God King. Uh, there's obviously God King Darren as well, which is on point. This one is just as good. God King Darius is a bringer of true carnage, the descent of primordial deities long forgotten in the shadow of, the, of Demacia. Interesting, because pre the location of Damascus, there was tribes there, wasn't there as well? So, mm. slaughtering monarchs and gods alike, he seeks to end the false world of utility, unity, sorry, and peace, ushering in an age of endless war where only the strongest will survive. Okay, and then the last one looks to be High Noon. Oh, no, it isn't. So, here is High Noon. So, the once human Darius once was a terrifying manhunter, feared throughout the West for his cunning and br brutality. Famously defeated by his brother in a wildly publicised duel, hmm, his wounded pride eventually twisted into obsession, leading him to strike a deal with the devil, Hecarim. Right, I like this universe. This universe is nice. Obviously got Lucian and Senna in this one as well. One of Senna's best skins, actually. High noon, and he got beat by, by Draven. Hmm, the shame. So we've got the chromas here, which I won't necessarily go through. We have Legacy and Dreadnova. Okay, so let's look at um, Luna, not Legacy. Yeah, Luna Beast. Um, okay, this is cool. I like that one as well. The Luna one for Vayne was one of my favourites. And I've seen the Luna one for um, Viego as well on point. This one's pretty decent as well. Darius imposing presence and determination to lead by example cause occasional tension between him and Alistair, the actual leader of the squad. Despite how overbearing he can be, Darius is a strong and steadfast friend to his teammates and a rock for, for the whole clan. This is what's crazy though about League of Legends and this is why I love League of Legends so much. This is what kind of got me first like interested in League. 
beyond the game, which is the main thing, beyond the games, because there's obviously so many different games you can play, there's so much lore. There's so much interest in lore that someone could take and expand upon. So a classic example, this one here. This is kind of hinting that obviously there's more lore and there's more characters in the Luna B series. Clearly I mentioned Viego. There's also Alistar. But you can make a series off this. Just from that little snippet there, there's so much to work with. And you get that for, from almost every single one. The one from High Noon is another classic example of, of, of that as well. There's so much lore and there's so much... Um, kind of like start it's like a starter pack it's like a starter pack if you were like a creative designer or if you had rights to make some kind of series i.e like arcane there's so much you could use there's so much so many areas you could start with love it so the last one is dread nova darius okay formerly a frontline general looks a little bit like warhammer in the now disbanded confederate alliance darius once scoured the surfaces of entire planets in bitter campaigns against the rsm Left devoid of purpose at the close of the war, the Dread Nova Corps offered him a chance to lead and fight again. So a little bit of redemption here. But yeah, it looks a little bit like um, Warhammer and also like Starcraft as well. Cool. So I think, yeah, wait, I think that's the end. So if I had to go back to the beginning off the top of the dome and pick my favourite one. Mm, there's quite a lot of good ones here. There's quite a lot. Of good ones. Um, in terms of the theme, this is probably one of my favourites, the Academy one, the overall theme. But if I'm just basing it on Darius's skin, not the overall picture, I would probably say, it, yeah, it's got to be this one. It ha it, just because it's so far out there, <laughs> the Dunk Master Darius, it, ha it has to be. I'd love to see how this looks in game as well. Yeah, I just want to take him seriously when you're playing against or with him. So that would be my number one. Um, number two would probably be. Um, this one ward king darius and then number three would be high noon high noon is really good as well but that's not taking anything away from academy also god king is amazing and i like the bio behind this one the law behind the bio forge as well so there's a lot of good ones in there but they will be my top three so um in fact before i move on to the first um login theme let me go through the artwork so if i just go back here Notice down here, we've been through all this. Maybe this is when he was in the free yard as well. Um, we'll read this in a second, the Winter Spike Road. But I noticed down here, there we go. Let's look at the artwork while we're here. So, Darius Expression. <laughs> okay, cool. We have the cinematic model. Looks like I was in Breathe, um, which is also one of my favourite videos from uh, League of Legends. Interesting. Battle, uh, Battletron. Darius, I like that one. More of like a realistic look to it as well. That's a nice, that's nice artwork. <laughs> this one, all of his facial expressions. It's kind of like if he was in Disney. That's how it'd look in it. Uh, we oversized axe there. Darius concept art. I love that one as well. This is the one from that frozen forest. Darius. The crazy thing about this is, you don't know if the wolves are with him or against him. It wouldn't make a difference anyway, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're with him. <laughs> And then this one, nice. Darius Concept uh, Exploration. I like the artwork in that. That is really good. And look at <laughs> look from the back as well. I love that from the back. You've got the skull. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to his original login theme. Let's go. Okay, this is clearly the original. Okay. Okay. 
that was a short but sweet one. That was his original one. You can see it's kind of based on uh, at least five or six year old concept art as well, but it is his original login theme. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the the actual sounds in it, some aspects of them really remind me of Swain. It's got kind of like a marked sound to it as well. Um, and the visuals remind me of Aatrox. Aatrox has got a similar thing where he's wrecking a soldier. I like how he's doing that though, Darius, and he's staring at you or at someone else saying, you know, you're next. Uh, but yeah, the artwork reminds me of Aatrox and similarities between this one and Swain's as well. So because it's so short, let me move on to the second one. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, boy. That is epic. That is so good. Already. Even that small loop. I thought he might put it his legs, but no, I'm happy with that. Slow down. Gonna build it again. Okay, so the animation, the loop is quite basic, maybe a two seconds long or something, but it's epic. The animation is epic. You've got Darius playing basketball in a dim, dimly lit gym with the basketballs on fire. The guy's ripped, okay, the guy's cut, and in the background, <laughs> his axe is a net that's been ripped from the ground. Um, so that's the animation, it's perfect. Then the music, which is the main thing. The music is really good as well. I've got visions of that music being like a, like a collage of like, a, or a compilation, should I say, of like basketball, like LeBron James, top 20 players of all time. You know, Kobe Bryant, RIP, top 20 players of all time. That, yeah, that in the background would be perfect. That in the background would be perfect. So that's good. That was a step up from his original one as well. So before I move on to the third one, which is the God King uh, login theme, let's move over to the story. Let's go. So the story is the Winter Spike Road. So by evening, the snow had soaked all the way through Madge's boots. With each step, she could feel icy water slosh from her from heel to her toes, like a flailing knife drawn along her foot. Other soldiers were, other soldiers were struggling too. 15 miles down downhill in a waste high snow wasn't easy. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, I don't know when you get, when you get like a wet sock or something, you know, when you're walking through snow. But I thought, I better not say anything because yeah, the next, the next part, I can't relate to. 15 miles downhill in a waste high snow wasn't easy, but the legionnaires at the head of the column weren't limping. Their steps kept the confident rhythm they'd struck since morning and their watchful eyes were still glued to the horizon. They probably have better boots, much of thought. Trifarians are tough, but nobody that, that tough in standard issue boots. Hayes Alt muttered, holding up, 
Zolt, the only Minotaur in the warband, was taller, wider and, and older than everyone else. He was ploughing a deep trench with the snow on sturdy hooves. Major was uh, jealous. Wish I couldn't feel my feet, she said. If I didn't have feet, no one could make me march. In the last campaign against the Winter's Claw, I saw a soldier's feet, foot, free solid. As Alt said, his toes cracked off when he put his boot on. So wham, General Darius chopped the whole thing off. Way, Major turned her gaze down the mountain. On a bend in the road far below, she could see Darius himself, the Hand of Noxus, might incarnate. The general's huge axe gleamed on his back. You're lucky to be here, Zolt told her. Darius knows this road better than anyone. He built it during Dark Wars campaign, which I found a little bit about in the bio, and we will help him take it back. Hmm, from who? A little lick of anger burned in Zolt's eyes. Damned Winter's Claw. Cliff's rose sheer on either side of Darius mountain road. Looking up, Magic could see the silhouettes of soldiers standing atop them. The scouts didn't get a rest, do they? She said. She asked, what? She pointed, the scouts. Hmm, what scouts, exactly? Then, then he looked up too. Whatever curse he bellowed was smothered by the avalanche. Okay, two curtains of white spread from the cliff tops above them. Almost instantly, they filled the pass. Chunks of hard packed snow smashed into the Noxian column, swallowing the soldiers row by row as the avalanche raced downhill. Smart. Magic braced, but it was like being hit by a charging basilisk. There were trem trembling terrors, an awful weightlessness, then darkness and the crush of winter. So if it wasn't bad enough that they were, they were finding it tough, they were, they were pretty cold. Uh, yeah, let's put them under an avalanche. Yeah. Okay. So... Crunch. Someone heaved Magic out of the snowpack. Get up, he commanded, a voice ringing like the clash of blades. Dig them out. She shook herself and started to dig. Then she realised she was digging beside the general himself. Darius found a cloven foot in the snow. Zolt, Magic shouted. She helped the general heave him out. Magic looked back up at the frosty slope. Far above, Winter's Claw warriors were picking through the scattered remains of the Noxian dead. No retreat now, Magic thought. Hmm. Darius was counting heads, officers, he called. Two Trifarian legionnaires swiftly ran over. Report casualties. There's a river over the next ridge. We'll fortify there. Darius surveyed the battered Noxian ranks, his expression burning with barely, barely leashed anger. If you can walk, if you can't walk, crawl. Hmm. Okay. As the pale sun plummeted towards the horizon, Winter's Claw skirmishers followed, or skirmishers followed the Noxian column all the way down to the frozen river, peppering them with bar barbed arrows. However, the probing fire didn't slow down the disciplined Trifarian Legion. Magic's breath grew ra ragged as she hurried to keep up with them. The frozen river was wide and slick enough to make it a dangerous approach for the Winter's Claw, and by holding the bank, the Noxians knew any attack would have to come from the nearby tree line. In spite of the sporadic fire from the shadows beneath the pines, Darius ordered two snow trenches dug parallel to the bank. Soldiers repurposed shields into shovels, and Magus saw Darius doing the same. Remember this, Salt said. You saw the hand of Noxus digging with infantry. Everyone then sharpened stakes for the outer trench. Darius checked defences along the line but stopped at Zolt. You're familiar, he said. I found it I found in the first fray I fought, sorry, in the first fray, fray or campaign general. Zolt nodded at Madger, told this youngster how much worse it was. Darius looked Madger over. This is your first action, he said. Madger wondered how he could tell. Yes, General. Hmm. Don't waste time on fear, he told her. Focus on facing, focus on facing the enemy and putting your blade in their throats. Major wasn't sure what to say. Uh, <laughs> zip. Something pa something parred the air between them and a javelin lodged in the wall of the trench. Major turned towards the tree line. Branches were shaking, blades were shining and moonlight glinted on pol polished bone. Hmm. You know what that means. Stand to. Darius bellowed. As the Noxian scrambled for cover and another volley of javelins flew, flew from the trees, Magus saw a soldier staggered. Three feet of knotty wood spouted from his chest. Darius pushed past Magus and Zolt, arrows pinging off his axe on, on his back. Soon they'll charge, they'll charge soon, he told them. His eyes were lit with fierce excitement. That's when we'll strike. And just as he spoke, a snarling came from the trees. A pack of six-legged cat-like shadows raced out of the darkness. Trained wild claws leaping for Noxian throats. The winter's claw followed. As Trifarian legionnaires rose from the trench to meet them, Magia drew her sword. She saw Darius bring his axe down like a guillotine. She rose too, ready to fight, when Zolt collapsed beside her. A javelin was buried in his shoulder. 
go his gasp, but Maja planted herself beside him. Winter's claw warriors were on them in an instant, hatching swinging, hatchet swinging. Zolt deflected a skull crushing strike with his good arm, and Maja tripped their attacker, but instead of delivering the killing blow, she turned back to Zolt. She could save him, she had to. She pushed Zolt towards the river, away from the fight, and they slivered out onto the ice behind the Noxian line. As Zolt, as Zolt fell to his knees, struggling for breath, Maja had a sudden urge to flee across the river with him. Don't Zolt couldn't tell what she was. Zolt could tell what she was thinking. A Noxian never flees. Maja's heart seemed to be beating in her throat. She opened her mouth to argue with Zolt. I am a Noxian. I am. But her mouth refused to form the words. Then Zolt's eyes widened and a heavy ha land and a heavy hand landed on Maja's shoulders. She knew who it was before she turned around. Face the enemy, <laughs> Darius growled. I, you're not facing them. With a flick of his arm, Darius spun her on the ice. Noxians who flee die, he said. Huh, <laughs> okay. So it's pretty grim either way. But if you've got Darius by your side, you've got a chance. By your hand, Maja knew. By the axe, as she stared, Darius hefted the axe above his head, and for an instant, Maja thought, this is it, my execution. But the moment never came. A flurry of arrows ricocheted off the flat of the blade, falling harmlessly round them, and Darius lowered the axe again. Noxons don't run, we win, he growled. We chop them to pieces for what they do to us. And suddenly, Maja was angry as the winter's claw, and, and at herself, and at herself, and at her fear. Okay. With jerking frozen limbs, she shoved Zolt aside. She heard him grunt as he hit the ice, but she left him there, and Darius did too. Beside, sorry, did too. Beside him, lockstep, she ran into the whirlwind of Noxian steel. Their blades flashed, and Maja swung hers until her muscles burned, and her hand was sore from impact after impact. And with each hammering blow, she reminded herself, live, win, chop them to pieces. <laughs> okay, what a motto. By sunrise, the winter's claw had been routed. Okay. When they returned, Darius and Maja found Zolt at the riverbank, his chest prickled with arrows dead. Oh, damn. Maja felt numb. She'd been telling him maybe he maybe he rallied, maybe he fought, but he'd just died where they left him. I was trying to protect him, she told Darius. He, he was a good soldier. I was trying to protect him. Darius paused. That was a poor decision, he said. Maja startled. Sir? You should have been fighting alongside soldiers who had a chance of living. He turned his gaze to Maja. She shuddered. His eyes were like iron. Old Zolt was ready to die, but you should have been ready to fight. Y yes, she stammered. I'll, I'll be better, sir. Darius turned north towards the dawn-lit slopes of the Winter Spike Mountains. Maja could see campfires up there, smoke rising through the trees. The Winter's Claws waiting. Then do it fast, Darius said. <laughs> Okay, so you basically just get to see what you already knew, that he's a savage. The guy is an absolute savage and obviously no pity for his comrades that die. I understand what he's saying though, in the heat of the battle you need to focus on the ones that are living. Focus not you can't, If you focus on dying and retreating then in essence you've got a higher chance of dying and of retreating and losing as well. So I understand that but yeah, the guy is basically a beast. So uh, what am I going to do now? I've got one more logging theme to do. I've also got his spotlight uh, and his special interactions. So I'll tell you what, let me go through his special interactions first, and then I'm going to move on to his second log or his final logging theme, which is God King. Let's go. So, Duke Master Darius skin trailer. Since this is my favourite one, I might as well watch this one first. Then I'll move into the interactions. I've had a quick look. It looks like there's a God King interactions that I'll probably go through. The special interactions for the um, for the Dunk Master isn't quite the same. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> okay. Yep. Darius doing what Darius does. <laughs> A basketball from the gods. Here we go. Here we go. How convenient. The dunk prophecies are true. Darius has arrived. Rainbows and the real athlete. 
lead is on the court. You can leave now. It's game time. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, oh my days. Rewind that, Zillion. I want to see it again. Yeah. Please speak directly into the microphone. Too easy. There isn't any dunking. It isn't a sport. <laughs> okay, uh, let me let me start with the with the end. If there isn't any dunking, it isn't a sport. Okay, I love this part here. <laughs> it had to be in Timo and the dunk pentakill. Are you serious? That is insane. Oh wow, it's so ridiculous. It's it's so good. It's one of the things, right? It's just the real athlete is on the court. You can leave. This is one of the best, one of the best trailers I've ever seen. I ain't even gonna lie, that is epic. That was so much better than what I thought. Woo! Okay, so off the back of that, I'm gonna move on to the special interactions, which is going to be the God King one. Let's go. If you run, you won't see me stab you. <laughs> Every time. I kill three things: gods, kings, and idiots. And you're starting to sound like an idiot. <laughs> yep. You fight to end the tyranny of gods, but they are all dead. And now you face me. I also hunger, creature. And when I hunger, I kill. <laughs> There's a place for you in the war to come. Until then, step aside. No one will be spared from the carnage, brother. Not even you. Ooh, shots fired. Okay. Okay. So they sent the magic statue. Demacia must be desperate. <laughs> what a mewling little kitten. You little kitten. The wolves are coming for us all, Garen. Ooh, so which one's better? Mm. Once again, they're complete opposites, are they? But you can see how it's the same theme. Ah, it's tough. It's tough. I can't say. They're both very good. Can you hear them? You're afraid this war can't be stopped, Garen. And you're right. Hmm. The Age of Gods has ended. That means you. God's God skin, okay. My wolves will tear the angels from the sky. I'll kill you first, then those things you call masters. My wolves will tear the angels from the sky. Hmm. The music swings in it as well. Another servant of the throne and a pigeon. <laughs> a pigeon. Mm. I think that demon inside you needs some fresh air. Oi. Okay. When I hold your skull in my hands, it will whisper of your failure. Hmm. Your tyranny ends in death. <laughs> Face me, tyrant king. Now nothing can protect you from me. The cycle will be broken. I challenge you, ancestor. Ancestor? Interesting. Nightbringer. Your people won't miss you, Garen. No one will. Oh, cool recall. Yeah. I'm disappointed, Garen. That's you could nice. have been so much more. Mm. You've become weak, Garen. Where is your old hunger? I don't discriminate. Some of my best friends are demons. <laughs> Sorry I haven't been in touch. I've been overthrowing despots with god powers like an adult. 
Don't start making godly decrees and we won't have a problem. Lion. Tyrant. Corpse. <laughs> Demacia dies with you. Long live the king. Every time you return, I'll just kill you again. <laughs> Simples. Liberated. Everyone has a choice, and you chose to die. Torn to pieces. Safety is an illusion. The weak will feed the strong. One more for the chopping block. <laughs> Look what loyalty got you. It's so random, but I'm just trying to get my head around his voice. He, the voice, his voice really reminds me of. Any of you watch Bucky? In Bucky, there's a. Um, one of the guys, one of the masters, uh, Dopo, Dopo Orochi, I think it is, Baldhead. He really, his voice sounds so similar to this in the in the those the dub. Don't turn your back on a wolf. It, it, maybe maybe no, maybe no. It gets similar. Buried with the other weaklings. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of it. Anyway. Random. I like the way you die. But yeah, back is a great series. I think I watched all three three seasons. Yeah. Another carcass for the wolves. Worth watching. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> Can't start a revolution without severing a few spines. Hmm. Okay. First you, then whoever holds your leash. Do you regret opposing me now? Can't answer that because they're dead. Food for the wolves. <clears throat> Where are your gods now? Did you think someone would save you? Oh, you've got some red on you. <laughs> you got some red on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice old Annihilated. I win, you lose. Yeah, a little bit more than losing there. Couldn't survive the chaos. On to the next. <laughs> On to the next one. Where will I put all these heads? <laughs> More necks for my axe. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. A throne of corpses. Hmm. Enter. Whoa. I am the tide that topples kingdoms. War has come for all of you. What was that? <laughs> that tickled. <laughs> ah, so good. Ah, so good. You've gone soft. Catch the play in the game and you guarantee you do your ult and he says that. Do what you want with the rest. Leave Garen to me. The Tyrant King has come to die. Let's give him what he wants. Tear the king from his throne. Grind his bones to dust. Okay. What are wolves to a lion? <laughs> the feudal mouthings of a coward. Better dead than dog. I don't listen to the bleating of sheep. 
<clears throat> Fit for a king. <laughs> Black Cleaver, yeah, that's obviously ideal for Darius. Darius. You can't kill me in a way that matters. Hmm. Yeah, I love his respawn. This rebellion isn't yeah. over yet. That's cool. Not even death can contain me. Hmm. I will overthrow death itself if I have to. To live or die, to rule or be ruled. Ha! Looks like it didn't take. Only thing I'll say is when the wolf lands, it lands really lightly. I wish it landed with like some kind of impact. That's the only thing. But apart from that... Cast your weakness oh. aside and rebuke the gods themselves. Two wolves fight within you. Feed both. Hmm. Burn the city. <clears throat> devour one another. And from our bones, a new world will rise. Okay, so that was really good. Really good to go through his special interactions. I love the ones that tie in nicely with Garen. Obviously, Garen, God King, is his arch enemy. And I like how the special, unique ones are based off that as well. Example, Garen does his ult. If it doesn't hurt him that much, he just obviously just insults him. Love it. So, what am I going to do now? I'm going to finish off with the God King login theme. And then after that, I'm going to finish off finally with the spotlight. And the spotlight's pretty old. So, I'm going to go through a spotlight that I've not gone through in a long time, which is Magic Cap Use Fly's version. That is going to be the final thing I do now as well. So, yeah, uh, first things first, let's get into the God, th um, God King theme. Let's go. Oh! Look at that skin. Jeez. That animation as well is popping. <laughs> okay. Let's get down to it. Let's go. Right, let me pause it here since it's halfway through. First thing I want to say is, look how epic this skin looks. Every way, look at his armor. Every way you look on Darius' armor, there's this, this, this damage in there. You know what I mean? There's blades everywhere. Also, shout out to his axe. You know, his main weapon, it looks almost like rust, doesn't it? You know, cane and rust. It looks more like that. Maybe that ties in with the whole aspect of the thing. It's a god king. I don't know. But <clears throat> the other thing I'll say is that the, the sound, the theme, is for me perfect for Noxus. It's like a it's like a drum beat. It's like a it's like an army, like a war marching song, which ties in perfectly with the actual philosophy of Noxus and what they're all about as well, and very similar to Swain's as well. So let's continue. We have that that sword or the axe. But,
Nice. Nice. Okay, that was really good. That was really good. Even the, the short loop animation was epic as well. Obviously, of him moving, the axe moving, and the wolf in the background. Love it. So that was good. Once again, like I said before, ties in with, at least in my opinion, the whole theme of Nox in terms of the sounds of the march and the war and all that other good stuff. Which is why I love the Dunk Master skin so much. And that also is my th favourite of the three. My favourite login or um, champion theme as well. Really, really good. But this one's decent. This one was decent. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish off with the actual spotlight from Offer of Darius. So let's go. Here we go. Here we go, Dunk Master. Whoa. Hmm, maybe not. No. Oh. <laughs> no, we are not using that song. Welcome to League of Legends Actual <laughs> Champion Spotlight featuring Darius, the hand of... He just said it's not gonna <laughs> he's not gonna use that song. Well Oh my did they that is, that is so good. Hope you're fucking happy. Dunks on dunks on dunks. If you like playing Darius, you're probably the same person who would padlock someone's backpack to lunch tables like an asshole. If Timo is Satan and Riven is a bitch, then Darius is your abusive uncle. I know that a lot of you have anger issues when you play League, so instead of taking it out on your friends and family, instead just play this guy and be a complete dick all game. The guy even looks like an asshole, and in the Dunk Master Darius skin, they just completely voice him over as a complete douchebag. Oh. And I'm not gonna lie, this guy isn't broken, stupid, OP, please nerf Victor, but he's a shit ton of fun to play. So here's a pop quiz. When is it a good time to play Darius? A, when the enemy top laner picks Nazis. B, when you okay. know you can snowball your lane. C, when the enemy team doesn't have a lot of kiting potential. Or D, when you get chat restricted for saying Graves doesn't have a cigar. And the answer is... None of the above, because it's always a good time to pick Darius. <laughs> Plus, this guy is just super easy to play. Saying that you mean Darius is like saying that you're really good at multiplying by tens. That's just downright donkey. <laughs> Alright, let's get all the dunk puns out of the way. Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkaroos, Dunky, a la Dunk Bar, Get Dunked, Dunk Tales, my personal favorite. A la Dunk Bar. Knock Knock. Who's there? Your friends. Your friends who? Shocking. Just kidding. You have no friends. Or else you'd have someone to voice over this Knock Knock joke. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Your passive is hemorrhage. You give people fucking hemorrhages, which is the epitome of what it's like when you're playing against this guy. You've got characters shooting bullets out of their guns, a guy who throws a sword at you, and an anorexic bitch that pulls the spear she impales you with, but Darius gives you a fucking hemorrhage because he cuts you open with an axe. That's fucking brutal. <laughs> your basic attacks and abilities make your enemies bleed out over five seconds that can stack up to five times and also give Darius a 5% movement speed buff for each champion that he bleeds like a fucking psychopath. Oh. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I promise. I, pro I promise that was the last time that I'm going to use that song in this video. Your Q is decimate. You spin in a circle and deal damage in the area with 70% bonus attack damage. Okay. But if you hit them with the range on the tip of the circle, you deal an extra 105 bonus attack damage, which encourages the male population to always try to give her the tip. I, I don't know why Team Impulse's <laughs> chant is T-I-P and not just the tip. I feel like that should be part of their merchandise. Can, can you start running back towards me? Oh shit, there's like... Oh shit, I'm in a bad spot now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, you could have just re by here. now. Oh my god, are you actually? Make the dunk. Make the dunk. Make the dunk. Your W is Crippling Strike. When activated, your next basic attack deals bonus damage and also slows your enemy's movement speed and attack speed. Its cooldown is also lowered by one second for every stack of hemorrhage on your target, so don't be afraid to trade autos because you need to show your dominance and you'll usually out-trade with your opponent because of your passive. Darius's E is Apprehend. You pull enemies in a cone in front of you towards your character and you'll also gain armor penetration. 
Plus, you gain vision in the area around the pool, but fuck that. Armor <laughs> penetration. Oh my god, it's like fucking your girlfriend without a condom on because they take birth control. Or that euphoric, confusing, and satisfying moment when you fart and burp at the same time. <laughs> Pull a carry towards you and dunk them. Pull a mid laner towards you and dunk them. Pull that hot chick in your psychology class towards you and get sad because you threw up on them since you got too nervous. Wait for them to run away from you, auto attack them a couple times to apply the slow on your W, and then spin on them to deal the maximum amount of damage to follow up with your ultimate move. Noxian Guillotine. You jump in the air and dunk your opponent like a fucking boss, dealing yep. beautiful, beautiful true damage. For each stack of hemorrhage, your ult also deals an additional 20% damage to your enemy. If you kill the target with your dunk, you can reset your ult in the next 20 seconds, and it also refunds your mana. At max rank, your ult resets completely, so you can use it multiple times in a row. Like Pike. Are you happy that I didn't use Wait. this song? See, I, I'm, 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 Here I'm, we go. I'm trying to be... I'm sorry. Hey guys. <laughs> So that was good. That was a good ending for the review on Darius. Uh, been a while since I've done one of Magic Cap Use Fly as well, and that was really good to watch. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll leave it here today, guys, on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts and reactions and breakdown of the champion in Darius. And if you did, feel free to let me know. Feel free to like, comment, and maybe also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like I mentioned way back at the beginning of the video, at some point in the future, I will come back and go through the uh, comics for Darius as well. That is something I will definitely be doing. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.